Robin Miller. Thanks for joining me. Are you ready for something super fun? You're gonna make puzzle bread. I call it puzzle bread because it looks like little pieces of a puzzle all built in a bundt pan and it couldn't be easier. All you need, the ingredients that you need, I buy frozen bread dough. You can buy the bread dough or you can buy the frozen rolls. So that's about a pound. String cheese, I got the marinated, this is pesto marinated string cheese. If you can get any kind, you can get this. Some of them have black pepper, but just pick up some string cheese, some grated mozzarella, cooking spray, and then this is a quick little slurry. It's about a quarter cup of water and about a teaspoon of cornstarch. And as we build the puzzle bread, I'm gonna tell you why we need that. So hang in there and let's get cooking. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is cut this, see how it's braided mozzarella cheese? and it's basil pesto, marinated basil pesto. So it's gonna add all that flavor, and I'm not gonna have to do any of the work. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna cut this into 16 equal pieces. So I'll cut right through the plastic, right down the middle. And you'll see the braid. And look at all that beautiful basil pesto. So to get 16 pieces, we'll wanna get eight from each side. So now I've got four. And don't worry if some of the little pieces break off, we'll just put that back together. Okay, so we got eight there, now I'll do the other one. Okay, now I'm gonna set the cheese aside, and now we're gonna take this one pound loaf of frozen bread dough, we wanna do the same thing. We want 16 pieces of bread dough to go with the 16 pieces of cheese. And you know what, if you wanna do 18, do 18. You wanna do 12, do 12. Okay, now we have 16 pieces of the bread dough, 16 little pieces of the marinated mozzarella cheese. Now I'm gonna prepare my bundt pan. I'm gonna prepare this bundt pan by spraying it with cooking spray. And I'm gonna sprinkle the bottom with Parmesan cheese. And I'll tell you why. Because there's two different ways you can serve this. You can serve it in the bundt pan or you can flip it over. So this is either gonna be the bottom or it's gonna be the top. That's your decision. Okay, the pan is ready. Let me show you how to assemble the puzzle pieces. So take one piece of the bread dough and press it out into almost a square. It doesn't have to be perfect. Take a piece of cheese Put it in the middle, pull up the sides, pinch them together, and this is where we need that slurry. So here I've got the slurry of cornstarch. Make sure it's blended, cornstarch and water. And what this does is it helps make a seal where I've pinched this together. So we're just gonna pinch Press into the cornstarch mixture. And place in the bottom of the bump pan. And then we're just gonna start layering them all inside the bottom. So I've put eight of the little dough balls in the bottom of the bump pan. And now I'm gonna do the next eight and kind of nestle them in to wherever there's a gap. Okay, last one. And I'll show you what it looks like. So there's my puzzle. Looks like this little spot right here would be good. And then I'm going to sprinkle the top with more Parmesan cheese. Now you can bake this right away, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in the refrigerator, go pick my boys up from school, and come back and bake it when we're ready for dinner. And when you're ready to bake, this goes into a 375 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's all puffed up and golden brown. See what I mean? Is that the most fun and easy dinner you've ever seen? This could be dinner, this could be an appetizer when friends come over. Have fun with it. Serve it with sauce, serve it warm. Everybody's gonna love it. Thanks for tuning in.